Okay, we'll continue to look at some work on simultaneous equations. Which we introduced in class late last week. So remember it's two equations and two unknowns. And we want to solve to find x and y. So let's bring in something new which will be 3x plus 5y is equal to 8, that's equation 1, and x plus 7y is equal to 8, and that's equation 2. Okay, now, the type of examples we looked at in class last day where for example 2x plus 3y was equal to 5 and 2x plus 5y is equal to 7 and then you could get rid of those x's there by taking one equation away from another. Remember that same side same sign subtract and different signs add. Well this time I can't do that because the 7 and 5y won't cancel out and the 3x and the x won't cancel out so what I need to do is manipulate one of the equations so what I'm going to do is bring that x up to 3x by multiplying that equation by 3 okay so multiplying that equation by 3 means I multiply every bit of it by 3 and then that's going to help me because it's going to bring that x up to 3x that's then going to give me 3x plus 21y is equal to 24, I'm going to call that equation 3. Now I can now use my equation 1 underneath to start eliminating things, so that was 3x plus 5y is equal to 8. Okay, so I can now definitely get rid of the x's. So it's going to be same sign subtract and different sign add. Well, if I can't see the signs, they're definitely positive, so that's going to tell me to subtract. So it's going to be equation 3 minus equation 1. Okay, they'll cancel out. 21y take away 5y is 16y. 24 take away is 16. It's so then y equals 16 plus 16, and y is equal to 1. I'm now going to sub y equals 1 into one of the equations. It doesn't matter which one, I've got 3 to choose from, they all give me the same answer, so I'm randomly just going to sub it back into equation 1. So where I see y, I'm going to replace it with 1. So that will be 3x plus 5 lots of 1 equals 8. 3x plus 5 equals 8. Bring that over and that will be 3x is equal to 8 take away 5 which is 3 and x equals 3 over 3 which is equal to 1. Let's look at our second example. Okay, so example 2, let's go for 6x minus 3y is equal to that's equation 1 and 5x plus y is equal to 11 and that's equation 2 ok so I'm now going to work with the y's so I want to get that y up to 3y so that means I must multiply equation 2 by 3. OK, and that will bring me up to 3y. So everything in equation 2 gets multiplied by that 3. So 5x times 3 gives me 15x. y times 3 is 3y. 11 times 3 is 33. That's equation 3. I'm going to rewrite equation 1 underneath. 6x minus 3y is equal to 9, and that's equation 1, 
Okay, so the signs are different, which tells me to add so equation 3 plus equation 1, 15x plus 6x is 21x. They'll cancel out, 33 plus 9 is 42. x equals 42 over 21. And then 8 times is 21, 20, 42, that's 2. I'm now going to sub that, x equals 2. Into one of the equations, I've got a choice between three equations, so I'm just going to randomly pick one. So in equation one, I'm going to replace x with two, so six x becomes six lots of two minus three y equals nine. That's twelve minus three y equals nine. I'm going to bring that across, make it negative, so it's going to be minus three y equals nine minus twelve. Minus three y is equal to minus three y equals minus 3 divided by minus 3 and then divided by itself as 1. Ok, let's try a third example. Let's this time go for 4x plus 3y is equal to 15. And then x minus 5y is equal to minus 2, and that's equation 2. Okay, so it's going to be trying to get that x up to 4x this time, which means I need to multiply equation 2 by 4, everything in equation 2 will be multiplied by 4. Okay, so x times 4 is 4x, minus 5y times 4 is minus 20y, and minus 2 times 4 is minus 8, and that's equation 3. I'm going to rewrite equation 1 underneath, 4x plus 3y is equal to 15. You can see that the signs are both pluses, the signs are the same, the signs are the same, so I'm going to subtract 3, take away 1. Okay, 4x, take away 4x, goes, I then get minus 20y, minus 3y is minus 23y. I think get minus 8 minus 15, which is minus 23. Y equals minus 23 over minus 23. Anything divided by itself is equal to 1. I'm now going to sub y equals 1 into equation. Well, I've got a choice of the equations here, so it doesn't matter which one I choose. I'm going to randomly choose equation 2. So where I see y, I'm going to replace it with 1 in equation 2. So it's going to be x minus 5 lots of 1 equals minus 2. That's x minus 5 equals minus 2. Bring that across, change its sign. That will be x equals minus 2 plus 5. And x is equal to 3. OK, let's try an example 4, which is going to be 7x minus 2y is equal to minus 23. That's equation 1. And then 9x plus y is equal to minus 26. And that is equation 2. So I can get that y up to 2y by multiplying by 2. 9x times 2 is 18x. y times 2 is 2y and minus 26 times 2 is minus 52 and that's equation 3. I'll then line up equation 1 under 8, 7x minus 2y equals minus 23. I can see that the signs are different so I'm going to add equation 3 plus equation 1. 18x plus 7x is 25x. Okay, to go and then I've got minus 52 plus minus 23. Well minus 52 Minus 52 in the number line, add on minus 23, that's moving me down the number line, and that was going to be minus 75. x equals minus 75 over 25, well 25 fits into 75 three times, so that would be minus 3. I'm then going to sub x equals minus 3 into equation. I'm going to put it into equation 2 this time, although it doesn't matter. 
So whenever I see x in equation 2, I'll replace it with minus 3. So that'll be 9 watts of minus 3 plus y equals minus 26. So that's minus 27 plus y equals minus 26. y is equal to minus 26 plus 27, and y is equal to 1 final answer. OK, let's try one more example 5. x minus 5y is equal to 4, that's equation 1, and minus 6x plus 9y equals minus 3, and that's equation 2. OK, now I can see that I can get this x up to 6x by multiplying equation 1 by 6. So x times 6 is 6x. Minus 5y times 6 is minus 30y. And 4 times 6 is 24. And that's equation 3. OK, so just remember that x times 6 is 6x, minus 5y times 6 is minus 30y, and 4 times 6 is 24. OK, now I can see now that the signs are definitely different, which means I'm going to add the equations to plus 3. OK, they'll cancel. I've got 9y, and I'm going to add on minus 30y, it brings me down to minus 21y, and then minus 3 plus 24 is 21 y equals 21 over minus 21, and that'll give me minus 1. I'm now going to sub y equals minus 1 into one of the equations. doesn't matter which one, so I'm going to randomly put it into equation 1. So where I see y, I'm going to place it with minus 1, so it's going to be x minus 5 watts of minus 1 equals 4. Minus 5 times minus 1 is plus 4, plus 5 rather. That's equal to 4. Bring that over, change its sign. x equals 4 minus 5, and that is minus 1.